Utah's Weather Authority is forecasting a rise in temperatures over the next few days. While that is welcome news to many, it has others concerned. If you don't have flood insurance, it is something community leaders are recommending you now consider. Emergency management officials are warning Utahns about potential home flooding issues when all our snowpack melts. Fox 13 News reporter Darian DeBruel has the information you need to know. We've seen a significant amount of snowpack in the mountains with a lot of water content. And depending on what happens this spring with the temperatures, there's definitely a potential or risk for flooding. Wade Matthews with the Utah Division of Emergency Management says his division is preparing cities. Review plans and procedures review their their uh, supplies such as sandbags and sand and homeowners clearing stream beds and ditches of debris for potential flood damage this spring one inch of flood water in, in a home can cause as much as $25,000 or more in damages. Matthews and Tracy Klausmeyer with the Utah Insurance Department say now is the time to consider buying flood insurance. Typically takes 30 days once you purchase that policy for it to go into effect. Flood insurance can be purchased through the federal government, through the National Flood Insurance Program. Um, you can buy it directly from them or you can contact your agent and see if they can uh, if they're an authorized dealer. Contrary to some beliefs, Klausmeyer says homeowners insurance does not cover flooding. It has never been covered by a homeowner's policy. That's why the National Flood Insurance Program was created. Nor does renters. They have to purchase a separate flood policy to insure their contents. Klausmeyer recommends everyone speak to their insurance agent about their individual flooding risks and needs before purchasing. Understanding what it will fix and what it won't fix is so important because people generally think I have a policy, I have coverage, right? And and it doesn't it doesn't exactly work that way. Regardless of flood insurance, Matthew says homeowners should be prepared for a worst case scenario. Store valuables, store important documents in waterproof containers, be ready to move those things, valuable furniture, expensive furniture, uh, electronics to a higher floor if you've got a higher floor in the home. Should it uh, should flooding be imminent, be prepared to evacuate. Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah. For more information on flood insurance, go to floodsmart.gov. Or if you'd like more information on how to protect your property and belongings, if there is a flood, go to floodhazards.utah.gov.